Hey, I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com, and this is Get Organized, a weekly series of videos and articles about organization. This week we're going to be looking at some tips for Gmail. And I'm really going to focus on labels, because they're what make Gmail fundamentally different from most other email programs. Now where you'd normally have folders, Gmail uses labels. So even your inbox is technically a label and not a folder. Now let's make a new label right now. I'll call this one 2012 Travels, and any email that I have that has to do with traveling, I'm going to put this label on it. I'm also going to go ahead and customize it with a color. I like to use color in my organization. So now you can see that this label shows up in this left panel here, like a folder, but it's not actually a folder, and I'll talk about some of the key differences in a moment. But first I'm going to show you one of the other easy ways to make a label. You just select the messages you want to label, go to that label button, find in the drop down create new label and type in the name that you want. And I'll just call this one newsletter so that I can label all those email newsletters I get. Now you can go on making labels, you can even nest labels to be subcategories of other labels, to your heart's content, do what you like. The important thing to note is that labels act more like tags than like folders. So if you put an item in a folder, you can only put it into one folder without making duplicates. With labels, you can put as many of them as you want on any message. Now when you click on the pane in the left side, all it's really doing is finding and sorting for you all the messages that have that label. Now labels become really important in search too. You can see at the top, as I switch between different labels, that text in the search bar changes. I can type additional words into that search bar now, but the only results I'll see will be messages that also have the label. Now that you understand how labels in Gmail work, all these additional features and settings in Gmail will kind of open up themselves to you, and you'll start to see what you can do here that you can't do in other email programs. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy, helping you stay organized. You can email me your questions anytime at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.